I did see the eclipse, yeah. I can't see it on my right eye though. But okay, I use these glasses. Um Yeah, I said there's like some sort of recall. I don't know what that was all about, but anyway. Yes, so we are playing a hack. It's the newest hack. There's not a lot of hacks out lately. But this one is called Gozamer. Gossamer. Now, it does change the physics, but we're going to get through it. Um, is a full hack made by Neen. Um, yeah, it's pretty much nothing really else to it. Exploration hack, veteran difficulty. Rated three and a half stars. Now, not a lot of, um, it's kind of like iffy how people feel about it. Out of a hundred? Is it that bad? So let's get started. So far, it looks good. Oh yeah, the physics. She's she's heavy. Okay, so map on the left side. First thing, obviously. That's kind of weird. Energy then shifted. An odd aesthetic aesthetic change, but Yeah, gravity is increased. I played some ROM hacks like this. Where the gravity's increased. Okay. We are in Slumberland. Wait, does Subversion start that way? Oh. Uh. Somebody just signed a contract to time the U.S. Olympic trials for track and field first time. Yo, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's going to be, like, gravity boots or something. Yeah, Slumberland Furniture. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Drewski. Not to upset you or nothing, but. Ow. Could take a while. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm good, fam. What's up? Oats, please. What? What? Out. Out are the lights. Out all. And over each quivering form. Uh, the certain a funeral pall. What? Comes down with a rush of storm. Well, the angels. All fallid and wane. Uh, what the fuck is this? Some Edgar Allan Poe? Uh, uprising, unveiling, affirm that the play is the tragedy, Samus. And its hero is the conqueror, Worm. I'm denying my death. The conqueror, Worm. Um, I don't know yet. I might just get a burger, I don't know. Is Edgar Allan Poe? Okay. 
Wait, what about the worm part? Oh, let me let me explore the rest of this. Okay. There's the worm part. Dead ground pose well. Except the worms. Clearly more than one path to go. Arsa's door would be locked. But who knows? I feel like I'm getting quite uh, far removed here. Um, Haruko, thanks for the two months. Okay, this acid will fry me. This is a newer ROM hack, yeah. How's everyone doing? How was your eclipse? Oh, brother. Rumbles. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, it was neat. We didn't see the entirety of it, but it was cool to see most of it. It was just very weird, everything getting dark. Those people saying the world's gonna end? Holy shit, how stupid can you get? Um... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, it's pretty dumb, yeah. I mean, I don't know how many people it was. It's like, social media kind of amplifies stupidity. Um, but it also allows us to see more stupid people, so. It's kind of... Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to have bombs yet. I even have morph. No tracker, I'm sorry. Are you supposed to know what I have? I don't know. It'll be a mystery. All right, can I even escape this? Should be able to do this.
Uh, no, I can't do that. Oh. Uh oh. See if I can even get out of here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Well, bomb jumping is not a thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I wonder how many people actually thought the world was ending. Um, not a lot, but. Certainly enough to laugh at, I suppose. So this just wraps around. You know, there's islands with the native humans still on it. What a freak out. I'm sure they probably understand what an eclipse is more than like some uncle in Alabama. So I doubt it. Um, Emsil, thanks for the tier one. I don't like just this one way here, but okay. Uh, thanks for the 51. Bigleton, what are you doing with your life? I don't know, man. For nothing? Yo, I think you missed your ride, dude. I think uh, Heaven's Gate's a little bit uh, like they left a while ago. Yeah. Mr. Ticket out of here. Man. Okay. Um, so I always hate branching paths like this because I'm like, well, if I go down, am I screwed? I keep going this way, I'm gonna get it so lost. That's what adventure is. Not 100% speed runs, poggies. Yep. Not right now, guys. Can I get out of this? Like, I'm afraid of the water. I haven't saved yet. Yeah, we can. Gotta make sure this isn't like a rumble. Oi, oi. What's all this thing? That mic cannot grab, I don't think.
can. In this, you can bomb jump. Oh, you can bomb jump. What is the rhythm, though? Jeez, that's weird. Alright, well, I'm not going to deal with that. I kind of hate it. Um, gravity is different on this planet. Yeah. No balls. True. Oh, this is how this connects. Okay. Okay, I haven't saved. Fuck off. Piss me off. Yes, you've been pegging on them pants. Ow. Okay, I don't like that. Fake oats? What? What gave it away? I just don't like the fact that I have not. They're very floaty. I just don't hide them. I don't like the fact that I haven't found a save station yet. So far, the ROM hack's fine. I don't think. I don't think it's bad. Beef glove, thanks for the eighteen. Um, I, I just don't like the fact, can I make that jump? Hold on. I'm right there. Yeah, but how do I, I mean, can I even make this? Yeah, I can. I don't know if I like that. Oh, uh, well, it should work. It should work. Hey, thanks for the 96 months, Gekku. How's it going? Uh oh, uh oh. Thank you, Tank. Thank you, uh, Birdman, for the eight months. Wait, what now? I'm replacing who? Oh, nice. Yeah, Stash your skip's not bad at all. I think I think that skip is like a godsend. Oh, I thought that was part of the environment that I could just walk on, but this is bullshit. 
Gonna end up killing me. I have the missile refill I can go grab, but... I just don't like being this far removed. I feel like I should turn around and save. Like, go back to the ship or see what that room to the, to the left is. That's what I'm going to do. The adventure? I am! By going back this way. Uh, photo, thanks for 52. Um, where was that? It was around here, but... Yeah, thanks, photo. Yeah, so I'm 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 definitely holding my breath waiting to see because this ROM hack has um, only three and a half stars, and there is a lot of uh, like some of the reviews are kind of negative about the hack itself. So right now, I think it's fine, and I think it's fine even with the uh, the physics change because I don't have to play it. Like, a physics change I might not like. However, that's just a creative choice, so there's nothing I'm gonna complain about in that regard. Okay. Ow. I don't like physics changes, and this is one reason why I won't play um, um, redesign. Yeah. However, there's not a lot of ROM hacks, and I've been wanting to play a ROM hack. So I either play like a one-star ROM hack that just gets me soft locked in like the first minute, or I um, play this hack, which is like the newest hack that was made. I just gotta keep learning how to use Smile. Like my own ROM hack. Which way did I come around last time? Clearly, it was like above. It must have been above that, yeah. All right, we'll try to kill Spo Spo. Hopefully, he doesn't hit like a truck. I know, I'm afraid that Sparse Bomb's gonna one hit me. Oh, this big gym. Yeah, I, it wasn't a sandwich I was looking at. I made a mistake. Yeah. A big mistake.
Thank you for the 100. The hop ever challenge. We'll see, we'll see. Wait, did I even save? I didn't see it pop up. Did I? Save. Hmm. One way to find out. I'm not gonna find out that way. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait. I mean, there was there was that weird message at the end when I died. So, who knows? Difficulty is a veteran, so you never know. Um, I feel like I went that way at first, didn't I? There are missiles up here. I ain't there them there missiles up on there. Yeah, I'm just a little bit concerned about the whole missile thing, but you know what? It is what it is. Or the, uh, the missile thing, the whole save thing. WX fan, thanks for the 18 months. There's something up here, right? Or to keep going to the right. Wasn't this a, a wall before? I'm so confused. I think there was a wall here, wasn't there? Did it open up after I killed Sporespawn? Yeah, I mean, that's that's neat, I guess. Kind of ha hard to telegraph that. Should have been telegraphed better because I have no idea. It's like, did I did I think of that? Did I, did I think that happened or did it actually happen? You know? What's up, clap? What the heck? Poggy Woggies, what the heck is this? Okay, so I think I'm going the wrong way, but I'll, I'll loop back around since we got high jump. And then I can go to where I wanted to initially. I'm just afraid of the whole save thing. David, thanks for the prime sub. Um, can I go this way? No, there's nothing. Also, there's a door here. Or this is power bombs, yeah. Yep, Baroonies sure was them there power bombs. Yeah, I can go grab that item. Yep. 
I feel like now I'm supposed to go this way because I have high jump. This makes more sense. So it's a good thing I turned around. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about the uh, reviews of this, but we'll see. So far, it's not bad at all. I think it's fine. Okay. Um, wait, did I thank you for 101 months? I just realized, Jim. 101. I think I did. But I feel like I brushed over it. Thank you so much. <laughs> A long time, partner. Alright, now... This is when I st might start critiquing the aesthetics. Because... I generally don't try to critique aesthetics unless they fry my eyes. Like, I normally try to, like, respect creative choices, but sometimes it affects the gameplay. On, on my eyes, my eyes are very... My eyes are bugging out a little bit right now from this. Personally. It looks a little bit better for you guys. But, I don't know. Just like staring at the screen and all the textures. There's been a lot worse. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Hello, snail. What's going on with this, then? <laughs> Idiot snail. Cotton candy land here. Ow. Do I even care enough? I don't know if I can grab it. Okay, we got it. Thank you. 
Great day. Should be able to make it, right? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of that uh, at all. Clearly, this is some sort of challenge. I'm not going to do this. Thank you, Bastion Blue. What's up? Well, the thing is, if you're going to make a hack, though, like, like if I ever make a ROM hack, I want it to be critiqued. Because if I do something that's not good, then just tell me. Now, there are critiques that are dumb. I remember there's this, um, there's this one person that plays the ROM hacks and then, um, leaves reviews. In all of the good ROM hacks, this individual leaves, like, bad reviews. In all of, like, the whatever ROM hacks, they leave, like... Yeah, exactly, Pete Doyle. No! And it's like, it doesn't make any sense. But all, like, the not great ROM hacks, this individual leaves great reviews. Just confusing. Yeah, yeah, KPF. Like, who the hell is KPF? Like... But those kind of critiques, I would just look at and be like, okay, yeah, whatever. This is just dumb. But, um... Is not going to die ever? Yeah, so what's that... What's that? What's that dude's deal, huh? What's up with that? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of worthless, I guess, but still. The point is, if you're going to make a ROM hack and have people play it, you're putting yourself out there to be critiqued. Just the way it is. Much damage for this. Not a ton. Yeah, this deck choice is, is a little bit nauseating. Thus far, I have to say. And I am a bit confused on what the, um... Ugh, did I miss an item up there? Ugh. I'm, a get, I'm a bit confused. On the music. God, the music sucks, doesn't it? Oh, what's up, Scott? Sorry. <clears throat> um... No, on the uh, aesthetic choice, clearly it's bizarre. It's hurting my brain. Like, not in a good way. 
Oh, tickling the old noggin, huh? Oh, it must be good and stimulating, huh? No. Yeah, the music's whatever. So far, the uh, the textures and everything is is sickening. Nice Metroid Prime is an excellent game. Good choice. Okay, so that's what this is. like that I went like this once to see like when it was like as much as it gonna it was gonna get I went like this and that even hurt my eyes I don't know how people just stare at it <laughs> yeah like, you didn't get any superpowers? Damn, dude. I like how the number of um, Google searches for my eyes hurt increased exponentially during the eclipse. Lumberland furniture. Also, do you guys see that there's like a Reddit post or something about how some dude's dad covered up all the windows because he thought they were going to fry. Whether or not that's true, who knows, but I like to think it is for my own entertainment. Covered up all the windows with like tin foil and stuff. Remind me like Breaking Bad or uh, uh, Better Call Saul. I'm not crazy. The thing, the, the only problem that I have with it are, uh, it's the, the problem that I have, it's whenever like it doesn't happen, they don't concede. They don't, they don't say, oh, I was wrong or this or that. It's always an excuse. It's like, you know what? If you're gonna have that, that belief, at least, have the decency to say, oh shit, I was wrong. Then I would respect you. I'd be like, you know what, respect. Yeah, who knows, maybe the Eclipse could have fried all of our uh, souls, evaporated us, and then sent us to hell. Or whatever it is you thought was gonna happen. But when it doesn't, say, okay, I was wrong. No one ever does that, and that really upsets me. People would rather die than be wrong, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, because you think you can look at it for a longer period of time, Linaroth, but it's still frying your eyes.
Yeah, but sometimes you can't ignore him. You know? Sometimes it's Uncle Tony. I mean, you're like a... You know, you gotta take care of Uncle Tony. Make sure he's taking his meds. You want people to admit they're idiots? You're not an idiot if you are wrong about something. That doesn't make you an idiot. What makes you an idiot is when you move the goalposts when you are wrong. I think that the people that double down and say, well, uh, it could have happened, or like it's, oh, uh, like it just didn't happen to us, but like people are affected now. Or they like try to do that shit. Those are the idiots, not the people that go, oh, I was wrong about something. Those are, those people that admit they're wrong are far more intelligent than the people that have the crazy beliefs and then double down. Yeah, exactly, because you just learn from your mistake. It's like an animal. Dogs learn from their mistakes. Call me a dog. <laughs> yep. Call me an animal. Well, that's also a dumb thing to assume, though. No matter how you spin it, admitting that you're wrong about something is so much more respectable than doubling down on something stupid. What's up, dog? Ow. Yeah. I'm saying you're dumber than the dog, yeah. Some guy being like, did you know if you change the coordinates of the eclipse to south and east, it puts you in Antarctica? Spooky, right? What? I mean, yeah, that is spooky, isn't it? Wow. Now, when you put it that way, that is kind of wild. There's gotta be an item with all this stuff going on. I'm gonna ride this thing. Not zoomed in. Is that true, Rack here? Can we fact check that? Um, so far it's not like difficult or anything, it's just different.
Yeah, my plumber told me. He said he, he was ex-NASA. And he said them there NASA people are hiding something. And they don't want you to know what it is. There is an item right there. And a safe station right there. Look long enough, my god. I like the aesthetics in this room, it's kinda nice. Kinda neat, the gradient. And there's an item somewhere. Through the entire thing. You see that? It's like a red line going through it. Okay, I don't know what the, um I don't know what I'm looking for here. I would scan it if I could. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe I need a boss. There's a safe station right here, so. You see the spokesperson for the Pentagon saying that there might or may not be a mothership launching probes at Earth. Yeah, so there might be, uh, yeah, an uh, alien mothership that's uh, launching some probes. There might be, but there might not be. And then people go, oh my god, he said it. That means there's it's, it's gotta be. Why else would he say it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he wouldn't have said that if, if it weren't true. So I can conclude that, uh, 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 it, it happened. Yeah, kind of like how, um, oh god, it's pissed me off. When they said, um, were there, uh, were there life forms or any was there any biologics or whatever they said found on this alien spacecraft that they recovered back when all the alien stuff was happening? Um, yes, there was uh, DNA or there was uh, whatever they said. Okay, yeah, so there's a fucking mouse. It hit. Wow, okay, cool. There was non-human uh, biologics. Okay, so you hit a mouse. You found a mouse and that's it. Uh, Mirig with the raid. Thank you. Yeah, it just pisses me off. And people go, oh my god, alien DNA. <laughs> I knew it. knew them mice were suspicious. Um, it's not bad so far, other than the aesthetics being horrendous. So other than my eyes frying, like I've been staring at the eclipse, it's not terrible. Alright, um, so I gotta try to go up, I guess. He broke something top left, did I? Up here? No. Up here? Then I broke that, but. There's a 
left. I did something. Oh. Oh. Okay, I don't think this is doing anything for me. Oh, here he come. Me. Um, I don't like the fact that, uh, I mean, I did save recently, right? So, save. Uh, the light train, thanks for the tier one sub. Sequence break is this? I don't know. Whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's coming right at me. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what do I do? Okay, clearly, clearly, speed booster is over here. I just don't know how to go about this. Um. I do this. Move that guy over there, then I think I'm just gonna take the L and die here. Yeah. yeah. Hit me, Edgar Allan Poe. Death denied. So this time I'm going to try the same thing, except I'm not going to die. I don't even know what the gamble was, so don't be mad at me. Gamble. Okay. I'll just reset real quick. Well, it was, it's definitely not, a, it's actually the least amount of scam because I didn't even know that it was a death gamble. So I'm just playing the game. Because if I would have known, it might have influenced my decisions and I might not have actually tried or attempted that. So it's like the least amount of scam possible. If we're being honest. Oh, okay, that's this way. I assume these are crumble blocks coming up. I'm 
can take a little peek, but... So I gotta go back and see what that is. Also, there's something up there too. But that, that might be it might be speed booster. What color palette is this? Um, burning my eyes, purple. Yeah, the aesthetics are horrible. Yeah. I can't remember, was it this way or the other one? Nice. A nib is satisfied. thing one shots you rip believers huh that's insane i did not think that was gonna one shot me um i gotta see what this item is pay up yeah get up here then I think it is just yeah it's just not. it's that easy What's my reward here? Yeah. Definitely not easy. Yo, 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 yo. Wave. Ow. Okay, that's bullshit. There's clearly something else over here.
heard something break. What was it? It's good. I might be able to um, kill the uh, pirates now. We'll see. I gotta go test that out. The believers are shaking. Dude, no! doing this if this is gonna make me wait I need having to wait back to one thank you Nutella all right, um, give me a moment. I'm going to take a little breather. Just one second. I might get some food. Um, uh, just one second. All right. Uh, 10747. Why does it sound like he's climaxing? Eddie for the three hundred. What a classic. feels left out because he doesn't get as much Texas Peach love anymore, so he's just showing off now. I'm going to see if there's a shortcut of some sort around here. I don't have to sit here and wait for... All right. Is that a door up there? Hold up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Gotta be careful shooting. I don't have speed booster, okay? Jackass. Mad Max, thanks for a 25. Where does this put me? I don't want to 
I'm like, we completely stuck here. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, what's this? No! It's just tedious. You have to like pull away from the wall a little bit. And then that last one, they make it hard. <laughs> Charge. Okay. It's very bizarre if, um, charge beam is supposed to be acquired that way. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that's the normal way to get it. fine as long as I know so I don't have to like potentially die in that room that's fine that is the longest transition ever You know how you don't get subs or ads? Is if you sub. Got him. Yep, it's pay to win. Like there's an invisible wall. I can't go up there. Don't sub. You got it. No, that's not what I said. What? Singleton's always a sub. Yeah. Don't let his bald head throw you off. Yeah. 
I'm gonna wake up bald tomorrow for that comment. I'm gonna wake up with zero hair. I would save a lot of money on shampoo, yeah. I would not look very good bald, oh my god. I think anyone can really pull it off, but... Yeah, that's how I'd look, molding. All right, can I get up there? I don't know. People wash, question mark? Huh? Yes, bathing is a common practice. Oh, there's another item, I think. I think the other item is probably just a missile pack, though. Guys, Spark, I don't want to hear nothing about you and your bad uh, hygiene habits. All right. At least get some goddamn wet wipes if you're not going to shower more than once a week, you know? Basically what I do. At least you're using wet wipes. You know, I was thinking the other day. I saw this ad for dude with dude wipes. And um it was talking about fellas, no more streaks in your boxers. And I was like, who is this marketing to? Is this, is this a common problem? Like, don't get me wrong. If sometimes you think it's just flatulence, you know, shit happens, if you will. But to market it that way, like it's such a common problem. Fellas, are you sick of shit streaks in your underwear? It's like, what? What is this? Do people like have such bad hygiene to where like I'm the top percentile? Like, what is this? Probably yes. That is so sick and so sad. Ah, uh, Luke, thanks for the 14 months. And fellas. Before you go oats, fuck you, dude, for attacking me. Just just practice a little better hygiene, that's all, you know what I'm saying? Got a water meter somewhere, I think, yeah. A uh, dose to... Oh, thank you very much for 13. Yeah, just wash your ass. Like, wipe? Until you don't need to wipe no more, you know what I'm saying? And then if you really want to do it, in a good way. Get some, um, get a bidet, you know? Yeah. Maybe. I think, uh, Cat Girl Care, this is marketing as, like, a, um... Bro, like, dude wipes. Like, don't be afraid to clean your ass, fellas. Like, these wipes are for dudes. Maintain your manlyhood, you know? So I don't think it's for what you said it's for. <laughs> Yeah. Like, if it has to be marketed as dude anything, it's generally for people that are afraid to, uh, you know, look like they enjoy the company of men. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, it's probably not for those people. <sighs> oh, tell me about it. I know. Yeah, you don't... Dude wipes are not flushable. Nothing is flushable. Yeah, that's just disgusting. I find that just so grotesque. Can we already go over here, or is this a map glitch? Or maybe not. No, this is powerbomb stuff. I need to find power bombs. Yeah, flushable wipes will still clog up the tubes. The old poop tube. I mean, bidets are definitely nice. Yeah, it's... I'm just trying to listen. Um. Alright. This game sucks, bro. Well, why are you watching a game that sucks then? Ha <laughs> ha, loser. <laughs> So we got to figure out what's going on in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, look at this dork watching a game that sucks. So you ass is covered in water mixed with your shit and sand about the inside of the toilet or I don't understand how a bidet works. You wipe, you clean, and then you dry. Is what you do. Yeah, no, if I have if I have poop on my hands, Dash, you best believe that I'm just going to um just wipe it with a paper towel. Good and clean. Fedora. All right. When the water shoots in your shot covered asshole, your shit covered asshole, it bounces off and stays on your ass. Okay. Well, I don't know. Then just have grooming practices as well. Oh, 
Wait, Oats, you're telling me to clean my ass and potentially groom it? <sighs> Oats, I don't enjoy the company of man, brother. Seems like you do, partner. That's a mama turtle there. Yes. What the hell is this? Samus, miniature nuclear explosive therapy atop the reactor. What? This pallet is tolerable. Colby, well, we thanks for the 52. I gotta ask Adam if I can use power bombs first. Are, are you talking about this? It's just cleaner to use water. It's not like, it's not like you create an aerosol. A fact. Uh, thank you for the 300. Yo, looks like I know what I'm about to I just want my goddamn chicken. Oh no, don't make it. Printed in and have a go. Oh, oh, I made it. Trying in the bag, boy. Come on, it. Trying in and tap a guy. Woo, tell you. My heart, too. Trying to do that and have a go. I don't know if it's coming oh. back down, so. Oh, oh I made it. More of a winner. Trying in and do that and double gain the guy. Go. And if it doesn't sound like you were that amused. Stop that shit. Okay, so it does come back now. No! There. That'll solve her. What does it want me to do then? from doing that. Um, I have to go to the left, then. I'm gonna do this. Drain 
Durand, are you still not con are you still not convinced that a bidet is more is more sanitary? I guess here. Here's a challenge for you. Once you get a significant other, I'm not saying you don't have one. But once you once you get one, <laughs> start using a bidet. Or don't. Don't use a bidet. See, uh, see how you feel. You know? Do you feel fresh enough? How would you... So let's... let's here's a good thing. Would you expect your partner to clean? You know what I mean? In a way that would be... Like, super sanitary for you. Like, how much would you be willing to do to someone that's not sanitizing with a bidet? You know what I mean? Just think about that. Like, if you, if you don't answer... If, if you think about, like, one thing... You're like, well, I wouldn't do that, though, because that's gross. But if they, maybe if they clean with water, then I'd do it. Then there you go. You're a bidet enjoyer. All right. So I can't get up here. Imagine if I could sequence break with just underwater wall jumps. There's nothing wrong with that. You're right. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I saw something. I don't think I want to do this. This is probably a massive sequence break because there's probably something up here. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break my fingers attempting this. Editor Tom, thank you so much. A crab somewhere. There you are. Okay. Many times in the past I said that my wife says something or say hi. Oh, okay. Um, very hard to talk about topic. My second side has no comparison points. I just look at all from the point of view of water bouncing from shit lay everywhere, including ass. If not how it works, it's fine. No, it's more isolated than that. It's not like a, um, it's not like an event that happens. It's not like a shotgun approach with, with water from a bidet. Like if you have a good bidet, it's just a, it just, it just targets. And it's not like, psh, you're not like there's water everywhere and there's poop being aerosoled into the air. And you're like, oh my God, what the fuck? You know. Okay, anyways. Yo, Oats oh, just got here. Okay, never mind. I'm out. Yeah, it's not like a pressure washer to your ass. Unless that's what you want. You can probably do that. That was a lot of damage, holy shit. Yeah, it's not... You're thinking of it way too aggressively. It's actually like someone peeing on your butt. Yeah, 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 just like that, yeah.
That was a funny but suck. Yeah. Okay, so I clearly need ice here. You gotta warm it up? No, I like it ice cold. Well, here we are. Live. It's just like a toilet seat cover. The cheap cold one? Okay, the... The ones that we have, Eddie, are fine. Don't let Emmett convince you otherwise that you need to spend $850 on a fucking bidet when the objective is to shoot water with some accuracy, all right? Sometimes you just need a uh, blasting, yeah. All right, anyways. Ooh, what's this? And there we go. Here. No, it just makes you cleaner, that's all. I mean you're fine without I don't know why, I don't know why we're still talking about this. <laughs> Alright, so Oh, the $800 version? I mean, if that makes you happy, then that's what makes you happy in life. What's your dinner? A burger. I'm gonna eat only a little bit of it because my stomach's really sensitive. So I didn't stream yesterday. Like, ugh. I just had to, like, sit down. But it's, it's pretty... It's like my stomach's in a knot right now. It's like, I think I ate something bad. And I have some like minor food poisoning that's lasting a few days here. I don't know. I don't. Can you have ma minor food poisoning? It just feels like not good. And clearly, like my stomach, I know that it's not good. It's not right. No. I think I think I have a minor food poisoning of some sort, and I don't know what I ate. I had egg whites. That started. I'm starting like an egg white. Uh, turkey baking type of diet. And now I'm afraid to have egg whites again. Was it that or was it another meal that I had that was slightly going bad? I don't know. Because I don't want to feel this way if it's the egg whites and test it. Hell no. I mean, it was just like the, it's just like the liquid egg whites you get. The date seemed fine. They smelt a little bit sulfury, but that's just the way eggs smell, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll throw that out and I'll try a different carton of him. I don't know. Separate the yolk. That's just a waste of money. 
Oh, that's what this is. Okay. I think it's a waste of money to just separate your own yolks. Because if I'm doing egg whites, I can literally, for like a, a protein breakfast, I can have like the equivalent of 10 to 15 egg whites. And that's only like, oh, that's hardly any calories for the protein. I'm not going to do that with a whole carton of eggs every morning. Yeah, like my stomach's pretty tender right now. So I'm just going to nibble on the burger later. Eat the yolks. I'm just trying to diet. That's a little bit less calories, that's all. The yolks are just high calorie. I'm just, I'm doing a diet. That's not a crazy diet. Are you all fucking mad? Having egg whites for breakfast is like the most common diet. Like 90% of the calories are in the yolk. And only like 20% of the protein is in the yolk. You see the trade-off? It's not worth the calories. So if you're on a diet, it's just easy to eat the egg whites for protein. True, exactly. Even a Niv knows. Like, it's not that weird of a diet. It's fairly common. Okay, I don't think I can do this. No. But anyways, yeah, I'm just afraid that, like, my stomach, I'm have like, food poisoning because of that or something. No, I'm afraid to try the other egg whites that I have. <clears throat> or, like, the rest of the carton of them. And I just started, like, a new training thing this week, too. So, rip. Start next week now. Whole egg is, like, 70 calories. doesn't really matter to me. One day. Yeah, and the but egg the white is, so like... Strong that the water got stuck. Now it literally feels like I'm taking a piss out of my ass. Piss out my shit. Can I go up the other way? Let's see. Uh, that's in October. I'm doing a um I'm doing like a mountain 10k coming up in like a month and a half. It's like 1400 foot climb for three miles and then a 1400 foot descend for three miles. It's gonna really be hard. So I'm gonna train for that. <laughs> Okay, so I can't actually go up there. Yeah, so I'm thinking... Yeah, but would that egg intolerance make me feel this way for like three days straight? And then... And make my stomach like cramp up and like clearly I have like intestinal stuff going on right now, you know? I don't think that would cause that. It would just make me feel... Yeah, only if the eggs are bad, yeah. So I, I ate either bad eggs or I ate something that gave me like some minor food poisoning. That's what it is. Um... Try to get back luck. I have power bombs now, so there's quite a few things. There's like those doors and stuff I can do now. What is this all about here? Who licked me hard sometimes? Like Charles, please escape, huh? Yeah, mine has been lasting for about two days now. That's why I took yesterday off. And even during like the eclipse, kind of like that day, I started feeling gross. And that's when I had the egg white breakfast and then like an old, an older factor meal. So I'm like, was the factor meal like out of date or some shit? I don't know. Or was it the egg whites? Yeah. But anyways, I'll be fine. I'll recover. I've had like stomach issues like this in the past, and it's clearly like a yeah, like a minor form of food poisoning of some sort. Um Alright, so I'm gonna try to go this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
It could have been the factor meal. I'm gonna throw away the egg whites though. Just in case. Ah, turkey bacon. Let's see what this is first. MREs, yum. But yeah, I'm actually getting rid of the factor and meal plan. I'm gonna start prepping my own meals. I think we'll I think I'll do salmon this week. Salmon, rice. Broccoli. I did see some of the eclipse, yeah, it was really cool. I didn't see like complete eclipse, but what I did see was neat. Yeah, but the thing is, it's so expensive. So I can buy the equivalent of what, like 50 eggs of egg whites for like $3? The equivalent for that is like $30 for eggs. <laughs> I don't know, it's a lot. So I can't even get back up here. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Um, I guess, do we, can we go back down now? No, that was, that was not a power bomb door. There's a power bomb door somewhere. Should I just go to the right and exit? $30 for 50 eggs? Bella's eggs are expensive nowadays. All right, don't quote me on this, but shit. Hey, fuck off, will you? Less than one dollar a dozen? Where do you live? In the 80s? I mean, eggs have gotten a little bit cheaper, but they were like seven dollars for 12. Not that long ago. You guys remember that? There was like an egg shortage or some shit. I don't know what the actual problem was. There was some supply thing, but... Let's go this way. Ow. It does so much more damage. Shit. Okay, well, they must have gotten cheaper. Um. Ooh, what's all this then, huh? I was gonna say one as well on the map. Oops. Son of a bitch. Hopefully it's not too far out of the way. Okay. 
Well, I don't, are food prices getting better? Or are they still complete shit? That's oh, going okay. Um, it's definitely a weird hack. Mainly the aesthetics are bothering me. Um, it's okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet. I feel like this is kind of a big sequence break. They're not getting more expensive. So what you're telling me is they overreach with their prices. They shouldn't be that expensive. And then they go, okay, okay, groceries are gonna recover. We're gonna recover the grocery price. But then they they just go back to what's like way more expensive. Then people are like, okay, this is better, even though it's way more expensive than it should have been. Yeah. It's like marking something up a thousand percent. People go, whoa, 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 that's insane. And they go, okay, okay. Then they like cut that half, that price in half, so now it's only 500%. But then people don't think about that. They're like, oh yeah, nice. This is a deal. Like the retro game market? Yeah, I mean, that whole thing, there's... Just... That just pisses me off, the whole retro game stuff. Oh, I agree, it should be limited. Oh. Understandable to have the prices? No. Prices are just jacked up for no reason. What is this door? You see that someone bought a card of Castlevania with a 2797 sticker for 90 grand. It was probably someone that like, it's probably like the same money. You know what I mean? I don't want that. Yeah, I mean that's that's what happened in the first place, wasn't it? With um what Wada and um Heritage. Weren't they like purchasing their own stock? Or like using using money to like recycle to like create a the illusion that video game prices should be as expensive as they are. No respin though. It's, it's absurd. It's not, it's not even, it doesn't even make sense. There is a limited supply of these things, but it's not that limited to, to make the justification for these prices. It's absurd. Like, don't get me wrong, as as I'm sure I've heard this from actual game collectors, 
Some people are happy because they're like, yeah, this is what the game price should have been. But those people are coping. 100% coping. Because the prices should not be that much. They maybe, they maybe could have been a little bit more expensive than they were. But to justify those prices? No, that's absurd. I don't know, but like thousands. Like there are people that defend the price increases. Yeah, I don't know exactly. That's a that's a good question. What prices do they actually defend? Hopefully not the million dollar price tags, because that's asinine. There's been times in American history where the currency gained value, not in our lifetime. Suck it, Oats. Huh? Huh? I'm confused. What? How about video games, huh? Or currency gained value. I mean, yeah, look at the price of gold, I guess. Uh, that's kind of, you know, what things are backed on, right? Gold and silver? That's gained. It's gained value. No clue what you're talking about. The billionaires are trying to enslave everything with debt. I guess we both have that in common. That yeah, we don't know what the other is trying to talk about. Um, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I can see... I can see the... the I can see how you would reach a conclusion like that one. I'm not even going to say that one's like crazy because... I can see how one would reach that conclusion. All right, I'm gonna head out. All right, peace. Wait, did I not thank you for your thing? Yeah. It's okay. All right, so how do I want to go about this? There are power bomb doors. I'm just going to loop around. I'm going to see if I can do the pirates. Maybe I can take the damage now. Uh, maybe power bombs will kill them. I don't know. Yeah, it's just all we're talking about is the video game prices. It's just ridiculous. And, um,. Just bad for everyone. What's this down here again? Like, as someone that... I would love to get a inbox... Okay, so this is what connects. I would love to get an inbox, uh, good condition Super Metroid. But I'm not now going to spend uh, $15,000 on that. Because... Because some fucking idiots that grade decided to artificially increase the prices you shouldn't no i shouldn't the prices will probably adjust at some point hopefully but. um a inbox graded uh good condition super metroid not sure what the actual price is i'm just just talking, but won't be surprised. Wait, why don't I just do this? Can I just do this? Yeah. Yo, let's go. I don't have to wait. Right, we'll 
power bombs kill these things. If the graders are the problem, why get it graded? It's a whole thing. It's not graders are the problem. It's it's how much how much value does grading actually add? And um, there's like a whole thing with video game prices being way more expensive than they should be. Okay, two weak tanks. Okay, so I need to kill everything. We're dead. Ah! Grading is fine. It's just there are some graders, I believe, what what is what is Heritage Auctions and WADA and... Um, Just look, the factory sealed Super Metroid graded at 9.6 is going for 10 plus K. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It should not go for 10 plus K. That's absurd. Um, okay, so do I want to go back that way? Let's go down. We can go up. Sure, let's try that. People are trying to turn them into investments. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. Yeah, thank you. I, mean, I have a hard time trying to find the w proper words, but that's the best way to put it, is people are trying to use uh, video game collecting now as a a uh, uh, profit-driven thing as opposed to a hobby. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just dumb. That's every collecting hobby. No, it's not. You ask a collector that loves collecting. A lot of them aren't going to say they only do it for the for the hope that they're going to flip it and make more money. If I collected video games, I don't want to sell it. It means something to me. Like, I, I love having that. It's like... It's neat. I would want to collect games, you know. I don't I don't think about okay, how much can I sell this for in oh let's say five years. Okay, can I make a profit? No? Okay, well I'm not gonna get this one then. No. I think it's safe to say that most gaming collectors feel the same way that I do, you know. In that regard. Now, you could, um, there might be an aspect of buying the game for a certain price. And yeah, there's like a whole market to it to where you're not going to purchase something if it's way overpriced. Because then you, you're going to go, okay, well, like if I ever need to sell this stuff, it's going to, there's no way I'm going to get $10,000 for this SM cart in 10 years. Like, even though you don't care about it. So it plays a, it plays a role. Is this live? No, no, this is not live. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't need to be a side hustle. Just enjoy collecting shit. If you're never going to open it, you may as well not own it. I mean, I get that, but like, if I, I don't know, because if I were to get a Super Metroid cartridge that is in box, graded, and I'm like, wow, this is awesome. Like, this means something to me. This is really cool to have. I'm not going to open that. Could I not own it then? Um, where was this? Power bomb door again. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Yeah, like it's it's almost like you're preserving something, and it like we all grew up with these games, and they mean something to us.
20k to get Super Metroid? Holy shit. So, it's funny. When I said 15k, I was right on the money. Someone said one was 10k, and someone said one's 20k. So, shit. It's like having a girlfriend, but never touching her. That's your analogy? That's a bad analogy, because... A Super Metroid cartridge doesn't... Can't consent. It... Your girlfriend... Is a human. Do you own your girlfriend? Oh, there it is. Why am I glowing now? What the hell? They don't have one. Oh, it's a trick question. Psych. You got me. Shit. Um, okay. So, now we go down? Or do I go back up and then try to get there? I have no idea. No, that's a terrible analogy. Yeah, you can't compare... A, a cartridge video game collecting to a human you know <laughs> you gotta collect, you gotta compare it to like something else in the same regard um where do i want to use so speed was mainly what the Hold on one second. 